I want to talk about fruit for just a second because I think that fruit is just one of those things that is a very, you know, with all the health practitioners I work with, they're kind of all over the map on the spectrum of fruit. And so, you know, some people say, well, you know, I can start eating fruit and I can, and I know for me, I can get out of control with fruit. So I'll start eating some berries and it's like, oh my gosh, I can, can go on and on and on. And I'm not, I'm eating way more blueberries than I need to. So what is, how do you feel about fruit? Yeah. So, I, I mean, I try to meet the, the client I'm working with where they are. Um, but definitely like, um, I've heard fruit described as like God's candy, you know? So, um, I mean, it's naturally occurring in nature, but it's very high in a glycemic load, right? So, um, a lot of people who are addicted to sugar are addicted to fruit. Some fruits are definitely safer than others, um, in terms of like carbohydrate load, but still, um, like you were talking about berries, like berries are usually on the safer side, but still they have less sugar and they're tart. Um, but still the other thing you have to kind of, so we, we, I look at food addiction, like there's two things going on. There's, there's a substance, right? So if we eat certain substances, we're triggered much like the alcoholic would be triggered by the substance of alcohol or the cocaine addict would be triggered by cocaine, right? But you also have like the behavior, um, like the setup. So like berries and cherries, they're just like grapes. They're like these like little tiny little things and they kind of encourage snacking. It's like they just kind of pop and play, pop and play, pop and play. So that's like another thing. I know for me, like if I eat an apple, I'm gonna wanna eat two more. I mean, that's just, that's just my truth. So uh, if you're like struggling to, um, to quit snacking, I mean, fruit's definitely one of those things you wanna look at and, and, and be, try, to, try to be like rigorously honest with yourself about like, how is this working? Um, uh, I, think, I think that when we can kind of step outside and look in, um, we, can, we can get a better sense. If we can like remove our emotional attachment to the food, then we can see the truth about how it affects us. But if we're still like looking at it through that like murky lens of like, no, but I still want that because it makes me feel good, then um, we can't ever find a food plan that will work.